Collective Project Workshop was not only a great opportunity to present our findings, but also a time for us to ask what's next. How can we use these findings to create actual change for teenagers? To answer these questions, adults and teenagers got together and spoke about their physical activity experiences. More importantly, teenagers got to tell people who have the power to change things what they really want from activity. So they want more information about how, where and what they can do to be active. This includes how to get there and the cost. These need to be told to teenagers in a way that they'll take note of. So using social media, for example, Snapchat, Instagram and Facebook is the best way to do this. Transport was a key issue discussed by everyone. Travelling was accepted by young people as a necessary part of getting to activities, but the ease of doing this and the price definitely is not. Free bus passes were the most spoken about approach to combat this. Teenagers want more choices in and out of school, and not just the usual football, netball and rugby clubs. Thinking outside the box was encouraged. These choices should also bring greater access to indoor spaces, so that come rain or shine, teenagers have a safe, social space to be active. And finally, everyone spoke about buy-in from the local community. If the end goal is activity, why are we not working together to get teenagers out of the house and more active? You can help create these changes. By listening to what was said at the workshop, the smallest change in your role can help make a huge difference to local activity provision. So what are you going to do? Because at Active, we can see that information and transport are key areas to develop.